Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gentleman Masterclass. After about a good two decades of not running, I finally found the passion for running again. So inside of this video, I would like to share with you guys a few purchases that I made to not only improve my comfort during my runs, but also just to overall increase my, my swag level, so to speak. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I purchased. All right, so being out of the running game for 20 years, you know, obviously I needed to get some new gear because I had nothing inside of my repertoire. So I just needed to rebuy all of this stuff over again. And uh, it's nice to get it. So my first swag is all from Nike. And this is what we're getting ready to take a look at now. And surprisingly, right around the time of me recording this video, it is like a members week at Nike. So at all of the stores, at least here inside of Tokyo, Japan, I'm not sure inside the world, but at least here inside of Tokyo, Japan, I was able to get things at a 30% up to 50% off members discount for this week only. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of my purchases. So obviously this is the bag right here. As you guys can see, it kind of has this this blueprint looking kind of feel to it and uh, let's just pull everything out one by one I got one of my receipts here the other receipt happened to blow away inside of the wind but all in all uh, the total of what I paid for all of this gear was roughly approximately about 8717 Japanese yen and US dollars 8700 yen is probably just off the top of my head in the ballpark of maybe around 60 bucks so let's take a look at the first thing that I bought and like I said again most of this stuff was 30% off so it was really good for my pockets uh, this is a club cap here that is extremely lightweight and breathable and uh, this is something that I'm definitely gonna want to wear with the summer upcoming extremely soon I got this white so that it could reflect the sun. It's breathable, it's extremely thin. It'll block the sun out of my eyes and give me some shade. And also when I run inside of the rain, it'll keep the, the raindrops from hitting me inside of the eyes and have to keep me from wiping constantly. So this is good for two purposes, twofold, the sun and the rain. This is an adult size cap but it is the small to medium because you know I do have a small head. This one was $35.99 and uh, does it have the breakdown of, no, it doesn't have the breakdown, but anyways, it was 30% off of this. Pretty much everything that I'm gonna show you is 30% off, has the Nike logo on there, so there's that. So let's move that to the side. Next up, I found these running shorts for real cheap. This is a standard fit, nine inch length. Very good material. It wicks away the sweat. It dries very fast. These are essentially like swimming shorts almost. They're not swimming shorts. They're made for running, but they're almost like swimming shorts. All right. So these are the dry fit and I bought these shorts in a medium size because it was the best uh, size for my waist although the large did fit me as well it just looked a little bit funny around my waist even though it looked better on me overall as a fit but uh, medium was yeah it's best that I go with my own own size here so you got this Nike reflective logo here and you got this nice breathable cut that is uh, on the corner of these slits here so this is very nice and you got this racing stripe band there, making it look like a race car, whatever. But anyways, these are very nice shorts. I bought them because of the deal that I got on them. Is the tag still inside of here? I believe it is. So this one was 1,000, let's just say 2,000 Japanese yen with 30% off. Made these extremely cheap. It was a no brainer. I have some running pants, but I need some running shorts. So this is the first pair of running shorts. And then I bought a second pair of running shorts. This is almost exactly the same thing, but only all in black. 
as you guys can see, it has that same uh, breathability slit that's on the corner. You have the same reflective logo there, but you don't have that racing stripe that's here on this one. You don't have that on this one, but this is also a dry fit. This one was a little bit more expensive. This one was 4,000 Japanese yen, but of course with a 30% off, which was nice. And uh, again, I bought this in a standard fit, nine inch length. Now they do have these shorts right here in different lengths. The nine inch is the longest. They have a medium length with this seven inches in length. And then also they have the very short ones, which are five inches in length. They may even have three inches. In, no, three inches is too small. They have five inches in length, which is the shortest. So I think it goes five, seven, nine. But me with my skinny legs, I don't really like to show off my skinny legs that much. So, you know, the nine inch is best for me. I mean, if you got some really manly looking thighs and you work out your legs a lot and you want to show off all that muscle, then go ahead and get the five inch. But for me, the nine inch is good. I'm just I'm just not like that. I'm a brother. Next up. This one, 1,400 Japanese yen. 3,000 yen off. This is a dry fit running top, medium size. This is very reflective. It got the Nike logo right down the center, long sleeve. So not only will it protect you from the sun, not only will it protect you from the sun, but also mosquitoes and things of that nature, and it'll keep your whole body dry. So on these little bit of colder windy days if you're trying to keep down on the wind you can put this on or if it's a little bit colder outside you can put this on so it serves its purpose but it says that this is the nike dry fit fabric and it moves sweat away from your skin for quicker evaporation it wicks it away helping you to stay dry and comfortable and focus on the task at hand. So this is the dry fit technology. And again, this is the medium like this. Go ahead and throw this one to the side. What else do we have inside of here? Finally, finally, we have right here another dry fit, but this is just a dry fit t-shirt in blue. And it has a big Nike check, white check on the front. Nice short sleeves there. And like I said, dry fit again. All of this stuff is dry fit. This one, too hard of a price to pass up. 1,400 yen with 30% off, making this like just extremely dirt cheap. Now, I bought all of this stuff at the Nike outlet store at Mitsui Outlet Mall in Makohari, Chiba, Japan, which is a very good place for shopping. I did buy some shoes, not from the outlet mall. I bought the shoes from the Nike website online, nike.com, which also has the uh, membership sales. I think I bought them with 40% off of those shoes. It is the Nike Vomero 17, but this stuff is definitely going to make me more visible inside of my runs and with the dry fit technology and the lightweight materials that is used inside of all of this running gear. It's definitely going to make my runs a lot more comfortable. So I'm glad that I bought all this stuff. Not only am I going to be comfortable, but I got the swag to look good. You could pair this up however you want it. Look, I can put I could put the blue shirt with the light blue shorts, or you could pair it up with the black shorts, or you can do it like this with the yellow visor what is this this reflective looking neon colored yellow you can put it with the black shorts and you can have the black and gold going on or you could just be all pastel and neons and have this light blue with this light yellow so any combination that i put together looks good and then i got the hat to protect me which fell on the floor so i can't show that to you one last time but i got these five products 8,700 Japanese yen. That was, you know, this is what all the discounts included. So five items for that price, really good price. What more can I say? I'm very happy. 
Anyways, that's all I would like to sh share with you guys for today. Salute to you for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, because I'm going to have more running videos in store for you guys inside the future since I'm very enthusiastic about it again. After 20 years of not running, I'm on run number 19. I'm preparing for a marathon. I'm trying to get inside the Tokyo Marathon next year. So I'm trying to prepare for that. Uh, mentally, physically, spiritually, in every which way that you can get prepared for a marathon because it is a feat that is very hard. Uh, never done it before to be my first time, but starting early and uh, I'm hoping that I can do it. Anyways, I'm preparing for the marathon. I got all my gear. I've done 19 runs so far and I'm slowly improving. At 19 runs right now, my 5K is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good for what it is. So anyways, let's just hope that I can do it. No more runner's knee. Let me go ahead and close out this video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out inside the world. And as always, gentlemen, you guys know what to do. Keep it classy. I'm out.